And then you were on Back Chat London. How did you kind of get into that? Um, spoke to a friend of mine um, and he told me that there was a opportunity for someone to play a, almost like a, a, an alpha male. All right. For whatever, for whatever that's worth. So it's kind of like the description that you got. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, right. So come in and make trouble. Um, and yeah, I think I got f screened. Uh, mm -hmm. Met the director. We sat down, spoke. Um, he told me what he wanted, and I believed I gave him what he needed. Was that through like an audition, or it was almost like I went through all of that. I sped. I mean, most people went through the audition process. I didn't. I was kind of just fast track, fast tracked into it. Um, coming in from, I think it was like season two or three, so everybody had already kind of had their alliances. So I was mm -hmm. kind of one of. Uh, three new characters, but the only one that kind of stayed on in that. And I definitely know I'll probably be one of the top remembered. Yeah, yeah. 100%. <clears throat> was it was a nerve wracking going on there? Or? It was nerve wracking, but I had one or two people in there that I already kind of knew from outside. Mm. Um, yeah, it was a good experience. Um, it showed me what media is kind of really about mm. and how things can be pulled and manipulated and exaggerated and scripted to get the cause of effect. Right. So I feel like that's what happens in most things. Is that what it was like? All right. 100%. 100%. <laughs> did, they, did they want you to be yourself or did they almost want it you to be yourself? yourself because they're yeah. eccentric characters. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, mean, I, I kind of feel like I am who I am. I'm a man's man. I have my flaws like everybody else. And um, I think we were told to be 20% of ourselves. 20% oh, right, right. more. So For imagine TV. we're having a conversation. We can yeah. be having a conversation now. But if I happen to say something really silly, I'm not having the opportunity to take it back. That's what's used. So what? what so it's the raw kind of. Yeah, it's the, yeah. It's the rawness, but it's also, it, it serves its purpose. No, I get you. Um, did you have, con so you didn't have much control of the content, I guess? I wish I did now. I wish I did. <laughs> I, I don't regret anything. I think I've, no? I've kicked on from that. Um, people only see you in a certain demographic of light. Yeah. Um, but you also have to be responsible for the light they see you in. But you're not prepped. I'm, I'm not a staged, coached actor. You know, I'm, I'm a normal person with my flaws and all. So however you see me, that's me. But I still am developing. So in that show, I, that was, it was, it was, it was a, it's been a long time. But the person I was then, I'm not the person no more. So. Did you, did you get any kind of media training before? Or no, not at like all. That? Not at all. I think even the production itself was quite young guys you know young guys right. young girls this is for them this is their business so i guess no one has that full expertise yeah mm. and the cast members are they kind of would you say the their characters the same or their personalities the same some of them are some of them are i think some of them are dickheads in real life you know but they're a bit different on camera or? yeah 100 percent. Some, oh, right. some people did play up to the camera yeah. and um you can tell who they are because when it was off camera, you, you know what time it is. That's, that's what I mean. Yeah, it must have been quite weird off camera. Yeah, I mean, it, it's all, it, it all used to be very much stuff like, um, oh, don't take it personal. It was just, but at the end of the day, it's still your opinion. So if you mm. come there, you have to know your why. Yeah, your yeah. why is important. If you come there, you want to be an arsehole, own it. Yeah. Don't do different off camera. Because that's what everyone's going to see now. That's yeah. everyone's going to see that. And if I had known that now, yeah. I probably would have been a bit more reserved. Right. I would have been a bit more reserved because everyone's going to have an opinion. A blank canvas has multiple opinions of what it is. So, yeah. No, fair enough. Um, <clears throat> how would you describe the kind of experience as a whole? Was it a positive one or a bit weird or? It was, hmm. Once in a lifetime. <laughs> Once in a lifetime. It is. It was good. I mean, you can't hate on people, and I think the production as a whole. They, you know, they set the trend for a lot of things now. Mm. You know, and when all the smoke drops, you have to really look. It's creative. It's really creative. You create a universe. Mm. Look at Fifty Cent.
you don't see, or look at P. Diddy. I look at P. Diddy as one of the biggest creative directors there are. Mm -hmm. Why? Because everything he does is deliberate. So, and some people will do whatever needs to be done to get what they need. And in that process, you might create stars, you might create villains, you might create inspirational people along the way. And that could be by accident, but it's also by design because you created that opportunity for that to happen. So mm -hmm. for that, I'm grateful. I get you, I get you. Would you, would you go on another reality show? Depends on what it is and the game. You know, I've always looked at things like, you know, the circle. I've been approached for the circle. Um, come dine with me. Uh, what's the other one? Blind date or not blind date. What's the other one? Where you go to, they set you up on a date or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, first dates. Yeah, yeah. First date. They've approached me for um, who dares wins or something like that. All these army. They're the kind of things I'd love to be in. Oh, so these ones are approaching you, but I've... Yeah, they approach me. Yeah, yeah. Um, they, they, you, you know, here's, they come to your DMs. They are with... Um, it's all these selective agents. Yeah. They all work on commission base and they're putting forward people who they believe are... have good chances of, you know, going all the way. Yeah. Um, I was not... I'm not represented by agent or management. So everything I do is myself and my small tribe who kind of sift through it. And um, yeah, it was some of the experiences have been good, and some have just pulled out. So I have no interest in it. I have no interest. But you said you'd go on um, like an army one. Yeah, I, I got. I went to a, a screening for that. Actually, I uh, oh, got yeah. round two. We had to do quite a competitive challenge, so such as like a fitness and endurance test, a uh, psychoanalysis test. Uh, they do obviously they do the cross reference, the back checks. You know, if you got anyone that's have you been involved in anything that's so on and so forth yeah. um but they also do do the same thing which is screen you and try to sell your character so i remember with right. a particular lady she wanted me to play and i don't care now because <laughs> i think they chose someone else but yeah. such is life they wanted me to play a navy or an army someone who just left the army all oh, right um i wanted to play like a strong-minded you know i suited that role to come on and um, come against the other contestants with that kind of experience. And I had to make up a whole backstory of who I was, where I came from, that it's all shaped for you. So what wow. they're kind of doing is just uh, trying to put a face to the character profile. And I never thought that was even real in some cases. Yeah, no. It's very, very real. Um, wow. But yeah, yeah. So knowing this, does it make you look at TV shows a lot differently? Listen, I, I never, I look at everything as fake. Everything you see is fake. Mm. Television is television, program, programming. It's programming. It's all just to make your subconscious aware of what is possible. And if it's possible, it's doable. Wow. Mm.